so friends continuing from the previous session uh, we are going to deal with conversion of decimal numbers non terminating recurring into rational numbers of the form p by q so in the last session we saw how to convert a terminating decimal into a fraction that is a rational number and we also discussed that there are you know two cases one case is where the fraction or sorry decimal representation is terminating then how to convert it into a fraction or a rational number so we saw how 0.5 became uh, 5 upon 10 and it was 1 by 2 today or in this session what we are going to target is we are going to target pure non terminating recurring decimal representation pure means all the digits after the decimal repeats in a particular trend for example pure uh, non terminating recurring r uh, decimal r like 0.3 bar or 0 0.21 bar or 0 0.316 bar these are all pure non terminating recurring decimals but numbers like 0 0.21 bar or 0 0.3251 bar are mixed these are called mixed non terminating non terminating mixed non terminating recurring okay and these are called pure pure non terminating non terminating pure non terminating recurring decimal okay so in this session we are going to learn uh, how to convert pure non terminating recurring decimal representation into rational numbers basically we will be jotting down all the steps here and we'll simultaneously take an example so first is express express the given decimal as x given decimal as x what does it mean let us say we have to convert 0 0.3 bar into p by q form okay so first step i'll do x is equal to 0 0.3333 dot 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 i'll express like this okay point number two count count the number number of number of digits digits repeating repeating after decimal after decimal so if you see only one digit is repeating isn't it and that is 3 in this case so hence and call it call it n okay so n is equal to 1 okay now third is multiply multiply the equation equation so obtained equation so obtained which equation so if you see i have an equation here x is equal to 0 0.333 let us call it 1 and multiply the equation so obtained by by 1 followed by followed by n zeros n zeros okay so in this case how many uh, how many uh, uh, what is n n is 1 so how many zero will follow 1 1 0 right so hence basically that number here is i am writing that number here is 1 and followed by how many zeros 1 0 so that is 10 so let us do that so if you multiply this it becomes 10x and if you multiply this 3.33 becomes 3.3333 okay call it equation number 2 now step number 4 subtract subtract the previous subtract the previous equation that is 1 here from from the the new equation new equation that is 2 okay so what does it mean so first is this so you subtract subtracting subtracting means lhs minus lhs should be equal to rhs minus rhs that means 10x minus x is equal to 3.3333 dot 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 minus 0 0.3333 
dot 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 if you see now both the fraction or the decimal part is equal right so hence after subtraction what will you get 9x is equal to is equal to 3 3 so hence x is equal to 3 by 9 right so what is x finally if you reduce it into the basic form most simplest form 1 upon 3 so what do i learn so x was what x was 0 0.3 bar and by calculation x is 1 upon 3 so hence i can write 0 0.3 bar is equal to 1 upon 3 okay let us take another example to make it more clear let us say i had a number a number let us say 0 0.21 0 0.21 bar it's a pure non-terminating recurring decimal so let us say x is equal to 0 0.21 21 and so on and so forth right what is the value of n n is equal to 2 why two digits are repeating after the decimal so hence what should i multiply with multiplication factor will be 100 1 followed by 2 zeros so let us multiply let us call it equation number 1 multiply by 100 you will get 100x is equal to 21.212121 like that call it 2 and now what do you need to do you need to subtract these two equations so if you subtract you will get 99x is equal to 21 so what will be x x is 21 by 99 which in reduced form will be 7 upon 33 so hence i could convert i could convert 0 0.21 bar into 7 upon 33 in the form of p by q if you see right so i hope you understood the problem if, it, if there were three digits uh, repeating then you could have uh, multiplied by thousand and so on and so forth so i hope you understood the process and you can solve all such problems now in the next session we'll take up a mixed uh, non-terminating repeating decimal representation thank you